much more from her tonight as they take on their toughest foe of this season. From inside the historic Rose Hill Gym, Fordham plays host to 19 and three, George Washington. For Hannah Scheibley, now it's Washington straight away on the move. And Danielle Burns, who had a career high 14 rebounds against URI, gets one in her first 20 seconds tonight. She's gonna be so important. She was three of 12 in Fordham's loss to George Washington last March. And now she's got the jumper to get the Rams off the board first tonight. Pressure defense from GW. They're athletic, they're long. Shot clock is at eight. Burns gets free and knocks down the three. Danielle Burns going baseline, two more, and a free throw coming. Down for Cummings. Burns will get back. Cummings avoids, can't hit. And now it's mystery, and maybe numbers for Fordham. Burns shielding, sets up Clark for three. Holden in some trouble still with four. Padovano with three, with two, she got it away and she dropped it through. <laughs> Miss returns the corner and then kicks. Burns gets the bounce on the three. One of the bigger upsets in Stephanie Gately's tenure here in the Bronx is a GW team receiving votes and a lot of them in both polls as Davis again gets to the rim, this time she beats the Lacey Anderson, and now she's got 11 before halftime tonight. She's exhausted. Burns, a spin, and Burns has 12. And the Rams lead by 10, and George Washington now calls a timeout. Up by six, 145 to go. Nice pass. And the Holden three. <laughs> all the contact in that scenario. Padovano the catch, and one. Hit on the arm, score the goal, and a chance for three. 10 point lead is down to four for Fordham. Burns needs that and gets it for her team. Danielle Burns is open. She's got 22 points. Night of her life right now. GW, now Burns, another three. She's got 25. The lead's back to seven. From the foul line, she's been negated by a handful of Colonial defenders. Clark's open. It's a three for Sam Clark. Rams have led by as much as 10. GW has gotten as close as one here in the second half, but never even pulling even. Hold it. Knocked down a defender, Clark for another three. It's there again. <laughs> Rams have been good at getting hoops when they needed to stop George Washington. Pushes, Burns on cue. 11 of 14. Shot clocks at 10. Clark feeling for Prangy, she's in trouble. Here's Davis with five. Davis gets it away and knocks it down. No fear that her team coming into was given less of a chance of winning and ends up winning. And Danielle Burns goes over 30 in an upset of George Washington. The Rams by seven over the 19 win Colonials here in the Bronx. Great team victory. What we talk about, you know, Danielle Burns. When she comes out like that with Corbin Equal, that's her, that's her name. And uh, Jonathan said to her, her biggest mistake he made was not recruiting her when he shook her hand. Because that was one of the schools she really liked and they didn't go after her. I mean, give him a lot of credit for saying that after that type of game. But, um, wow, this, this is one of the best ones since I've been here. It's special because it took a, a, a total team effort and a very composed effort, especially after a couple of games that we've struggled with in the last When coach says that to you after the game, does it make you feel vindicated, make you feel special? How do you feel after hearing that from the opposing coach? Um, it feels good. 
Um, never heard that before after a game. It means uh, that he um, went out there and did what I had to do. No, not really. I mean, I come out every game with the same intentions and I still win. So it's just because they didn't um, want me to go there doesn't mean anything more. Um, I just come out here and grab some work. Coach, how big is this one for you guys? been there sitting in line at all the conference and you're the upper middle part of the pack right now. I mean, standings wise, we got to get help. You guys get that. In so many ways, just because um, you know, I had a couple kids, you know, a couple freshmen that I just have to kind of teach a lesson to, so I had to go with a very short rotation, um, just because I had a whole truth of what I, I believed in, so I only played six because of that. Um, and so to be able to stand by what I felt, and I knew we were fatigued, I knew they were just running people in and out, and I knew they, they kind of put up monster numbers in the third quarter, so to stay true to your principles and at the same time come out with a win, it, it's, it's even sweeter. Um, so it was a great, it's a great win because one, you know, we knocked off the top team, but it proved to our kids what we're capable of doing. Because we've shown it in spurts and we just didn't know how to finish. Like, we're up 15 at BCU and don't finish, you know. And so we've shown that we're capable of doing, but we just haven't been able to finish. So to be able to finish in this situation, it was a, a, just a lot of guts and courage from this team. I couldn't be prouder of the effort they gave. You said it's one of the best wins since you've been here. That says a lot. I mean, you've had some, yeah. I've been here for some pretty big wins. I mean, obviously, obviously winning the 19 championships by far. There's That has no peer. I'm just saying regular season wins. This is, that's got to be, you know, right up there in one of the top regular season wins. I mean, I think one of the special ones I remember is at Charlotte, too, because that's when nobody felt really good and beating them there after losing my third the year before. But just because of all the things involved with this win, with the fact that we only played six, you know that we're only have one. You know, point guard's a freshman. Um, you know, other point guards been out for concussion for a month. So those type of things, all those things involved. You know, you know, Danielle's just really coming into her own. She's kind of had a couple of monster games now, back to back. So I think her confidence is at a high level. And when Danielle and, and G give us the numbers they give us, you know, they did a great job taking Hannah out. Um, when they give us those numbers, it, it makes us, it makes it difficult to match up with us. Transition. They wanted to push, push it nice. Times employing the team, you know, slow it down, don't get in track. Absolutely. We want our, one of the biggest factors is we want to control tempo. And if we had the horses, I'd run. We don't have horses. We don't have we don't have the depth. And um, so therefore, we knew the rotation was going to be a short rotation. So our number one thing was control the tempo. And you look at it, they you know they got 24 more shots, so they were able to get a lot of extra shots and get 18 offensive rebounds. But I think a lot of that was due to fatigue. And fatigue set in, and I think they were just like, getting the second quick jump because their kids were getting breathers. Um, and I think that you know he was play a lot. So she didn't play that, but I'm sure you saw Jones on film. Where does she stand as far as players go in this thing's hat? Uh, she's one of the all-time best. I mean, she just she does so many things. She's so like we. I think we had she does everything. You know, like, she does it all. You know, up on on the scout before we do. We obviously don't know what her status was going to be playing. So you have to care for it, but um, one thing I love about her is she's a great kid too. So she's a very humble kid, and from what I understand, she's a hard worker. I mean, Mike Tebow's a friend of mine, and he said, go on the practice and see how hungry she is. That, you, you want something like that to be successful. But you know, the thing I'm impressed is, you know, what Jonathan has done, in spite of the fact that she hasn't played, I mean, I mean they, they've had to play, and that's only going to make them stronger from tournament to tournament. Because they're going to be stronger with those kids gaining that confidence, especially, in my opinion, Lauren Chase, because she's got She's had to step up big time the last couple games and get them over the hump, and that's going to make them stronger when jump. And I don't know. Does anybody know her status? I don't even know what jump status is. It says she's day to day. We'll find out. Day to day. But again, I just hats off to Danielle Burns for just player of the game. And we, we give a player of the game. It's called our score and stop. We have to leave the defense first. Um, and uh, it, was, it was an easy decision tonight. Um, Really, I'm really happy for her because her work ethic is incredible. She's a wonderful kid to coach. She's a pleasure both on and off the floor. She's a great leader and she's a great kid. And I'm just I'm happy for her to have her home. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.